Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's take a look around the Crystal Palace here. Now to the left, well, to the right here, we got an MP restoring tile. To the left is an HP restoring tile, but I've already taken care of that, so let's see what's going on up here. What is that thing, anyway, at the middle there? I don't know. Looks like a computer chip or something. How's it going? Fusoya. Okay, viewers. Okay. Go on. Make your Fusro dial jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Present, yeah. present. Lunarians. I'm guessing you mean Jupiter. Well, apparently it was. I don't see it anymore. Well, I can tell by the size of your beard. You look like a floor mop. What do you mean by... You mean you, right? Oh. Well, that's not very good at all. Must be Golbez. Oh. That's not him? Oh, he must have already come here and you've taken care of everything for us. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. So there's the bad guy and the real bad guy, Zemus. Interdimensional elevator. How does that even work? Oh. Don't you mean it's located in the Tower of Babel? Eh, whatever. He's gonna use a giant. He's gonna use a giant to destroy us. That's great. Well, I've seen weirder ways of trying to destroy the world. Ah. So why didn't a few more of you guys come on down? So that's how we got all those airships. And he only gave them to one kingdom. I'm sure their ambitions wouldn't become corrupted. Ah, okay. So he, he was literally my father. He wasn't speaking to me. So, hey, Rosa, I'm an alien. Alien hentai porn? No, no, we're not going there. Sounds like a plan. How do you even know about Eblon? You've been sleeping for, well, longer than we've been alive, I would think. Sounds like a plan. Yay! More party members! Wait a minute. That means Edge has to be in the front row! That's not good at all. Well, kind of have to do it, I'm afraid. So, oh well. But anyway, now that we got Fusoya, let's equip him with some good stuff. Let's see. He's got 45 intelligence, and I want to boost his intelligence as much as possible. So let's go with that. Now he's got 61. Yeah, not, uh, not that far off from Rydia. Unfortunately, he's pretty much like Tella, except he has every spell in the game. All of them, including Meteor. So, yeah, he's got all the good stuff. Just... Not the MP to actually use it. So, oh well. Hey, let's take a look around this place. Why not? Okay. How's it going? Oh, Crystal's talk here. Oh, yeah, it's not gravity or a centrifugal force or whatever it's called. It's been years since I've taken physics. I thought Eon was spelled with an A. Eh. Well, that's a lot of power you need for that. So Golbez just works for the guy. How powerful could Zenith be? 
Well, let's go on down. Oh, right, you guys are stealing it for us. We could just go down and kill him. Wouldn't that be faster? Well, anyway, we can't do anything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you back at the Lunar Whale. And there's one more thing I want to take care of before heading back to Earth. Okay, we're back. So let's go exploring a little bit. There's one more cave that we can explore. Oh, and also uh, let's rest up here first. Now, I highly recommend doing this side quest while you have Soya in your party. I wouldn't uh, wait until later to do it. Now, do not activate the crystal or you will go back to Earth and you will not be able to come back for a little while. So let's head on over here. Yeah, it'll, once you go back to Earth, well, you'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, we're all set and ready to go. Oh, here's another cave we couldn't, well, we could have, but I didn't want to check out before. The Lair of the Father. Clue ya? No, no, I'll just, well, you'll see who's here. Okay, first things first, let's change rows. Now, with this guy, he uses space balls, the flamethrower! No, no, just an ordinary flamethrower. Not quite as good. But anyway, you want to use stop on him, and then you can pretty much afford to go all out. He is considered a giant type enemy, so if you wanted to, you could uh, use an ogre killer to deal a little more damage, or the fairy claws, but eh, I don't feel like cluttering up my inventory like that. And once you get stop on him, then you're good. Let's see, Kusoya comes with also the Bless ability, which is basically a regenerative effect. It's pretty much useless in the game, even in this version of the game, so. Oh well. Once you got him stopped, then you're fine. You could also have Kusoya use Tornado on him to bring his HP to single digits, but that costs more, and he doesn't have a whole lot of MP to begin with. Now here we got another new enemy, the Dark Sage. Unfortunately, She's alone, and when she's alone, she likes casting tornadoes. So what I want to do, if I can, get Pig on her, at least get a Cura on Edge so she doesn't kill him. There we go, like with a spell or something like that. You could also use Silence on her. She is considered a Mage-type enemy, so you could use that as well. And like if you had Silencing Arrows or the Mage Masher on you. But yeah, once you get Piggy on her, then that's pretty much the easiest way to deal with that. Ooh, I got a Soma drop. That's a relatively rare drop. Uh, let's give that to Edge. I like his spells better. And we will be using more of his spells in this area. Let's see, down here we get the Genji Gloves. All right. Now you could give those to Edge, but I prefer keeping him on strength boosting equipment because, uh, let's see. Well, he's actually got pretty good, decent defense multipliers, but Cecil has more. And he could use the raw defense more. Here we got a couple more new enemies. Uh, let's get to Edge's turn. I want to try stealing from them this time. Let's see, Rosa, I want you to use Mini on the Moon Maidens there. And I want Rydia to use Pig on the Dark Sage. Woo, I got the Artemis arrows already. Wow, that's like a 5% steal. Oh, I didn't know you could uh, mini the the uh, Dark Sage yet. But anyway, uh, so yeah, you pretty much want Edge to try stealing from the Moon Maidens because they have Artemis arrows which deal quadruple damage to dragons. It is really, really good. And they're, you can't buy them anywhere. So you pretty much want to take what you can get. Now if I can just piggy her... I assume it worked. Now she's a tiny pig. That's great. Uh, the reason you want to piggy her is to basically stop her from casting spells. Ah, oh, I should have had Edge try to steal again. Well, we'll get one more try. Let's try the Bless ability. I would call the Bless ability sometimes uh, locking up my game for some reason. Well, that's for that. Uh, attack magic is not very effective on the enemies that we've met up with so far, just so you know. Well, maybe against the the armored team, but I wouldn't use it on them. He's got so much HP, 
Just use your melee, you'll be fine. All right, yeah, hold on to those Artemis arrows for later. You got an opportunity, have Edge try to steal some. They're pretty good. Uh, much later in the game, not so much right now. Well, a little bit now, I suppose. Well, let's go through another secret passage. Yes, even on the moon they still have them. Here we get the Genji shield, which is better on physical defense, not so good on magic defense, but since Cecil doesn't have very many magic multipliers, I don't care. Although the Aegis Shield does boost, I think, intelligence, if I recall correctly. Not that I care, but that might push you over for another multiplier or something. But so far, we're doing pretty good here. And we got another new enemy, Bone Dragons. <laughs> Bone. Okay, so, first things first. Rydia, I just learned Firaga, so let's use that on them. If I can get the Edge's turn, there we go. Yeah. Don't use Fira on him, that won't deal nearly enough damage to kill the guy. Oh! Wow, that, that didn't do nearly as much as I had hoped it would. Ow! That didn't help much at all. Uh, Edge? Edge? Game? Okay, um, ready? Game? Wow, this guy's just annihilating me. What's going on here? Uh, game? Where's my raise spell? There we go. Okay. Someone kill him. Yeah, if you use fire on him, go counter with blaze. Okay. Well, that didn't work out so well. I think I'm going to, uh, re recuperate from here and then continue on through the lair of the father. Oh. What awaits us inside this cave here? What about the Tower of Babel? Will we make it back in time to save the world? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!